joining me today to help separate the fact from the COVID-19 fiction are Millennium's Chief Medical Officer and Practicing Physician Alejandro Perez Trapiccio, also a physician leader of Millennium's 550 healthcare practitioners, Dr. Usha Chandrahasa, who is an immunologist, clinical immunologist and allergist, physician and a founder of the Center for Respiratory Excellence and founder of the Charlotte County COVID-19 Task Force. And via Zoom from Jacksonville is Dr. Alpa Patel. She is an internal medicine physician practicing who's been involved in the research behind the COVID-19 vaccine trials. And I welcome all of you today. Thank you for joining us. And uh, I know that you are very excited to be able to dispel some of the myths there for our patients. So let's start out with a few comments from each of you uh, regarding the current state of, of COVID-19. Again, all of you are practicing physicians. Dr. Perez, what is it, Dr. Perez Trapiccio, what is it that you're seeing in your patients? Well, certainly one, one of the things that is more noticeable is the increase in cases that we've seen in 2020, now 2021. And on the clinical practice, on a day-to-day -day basis, we're significantly uh, increasing the number of patients that come to the office and they turn out to be positive. Right, right. And Dr. Chandra Hassa, you as co-founder of the COVID-19 uh, task force in Charlotte County. You started with um, other colleagues in Charlotte County, this task force, because you were noticing uh, that this disease was taking a grip of the area and the patients, and you guys banded together to try and get the latest research and be able to, to serve the patients in this way. What is it that you're seeing in your practice? So very interesting um, compared to how we were back in 2020 April till now, this pandemic is just taking a lot of toll on our physicians, but we have not lost track. The track is to keep our patients healthy and our community healthy. And yes, we're seeing a surge right now of our patients with COVID-19, younger patients patients that are not vaccinated. That's who we're seeing right now in the hospitals. And vaccination is so essentially important at this time. And they're also sicker patients, I understand too. They are than very the first sick. wave. Yes. Dr. Patel, you're involved in the research uh, with the COVID-19 vaccines. In the research, what um, is it that you're seeing in, in that area of, of your clinical involvement? Um, so we've done a recent study here locally with the Pfizer booster study, and we found that, um, yes, some immunity does decrease after six to eight months. Um, they have found through some of this data, though, that an additional dose does boost the immune response by about five times more, even against this Delta variant in those patients under age 55, and up to 11 times more in those patients over 55. So we still have are encouraging everybody to get vaccinated. That's how we're going to get ahead of this um, here locally. Unfortunately, I think our county, Duval County, has been the number one this past week as far as COVID hospitalizations. And it's very frustrating and, and upsetting to see this. Um, you know, we're constantly being um, getting phone calls from patients and family members who are COVID positive. And I think. Uh, a lot of our other patients who have other illnesses are actually being affected too. I've had a patient this past week who had a GI bleed that didn't go to the hospital because they were just scared. And I think we have to try to get a handle on this by getting ahead of the curve with vaccinating. And thanks for trusting us with your health. Uh, here, Millennium Physician Group, always your connection to a healthier life.